Senator, Senator, say I want to move on to this. You get elected to uphold laws. There's already a federal law, which we all know federal law trumps state law, that essentially they're saying is going to trump this, and now the litigation is going to cost the state hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of dollars. You say? And Chris, I always say in response to that, what is one person's earning power in a lifetime? I'll bet you Dr. Kane's earning power is a lot more than a million dollars. I'll bet you most people's earning power is close to it in this day and age, over a lifetime. And so it is worth it to defend life. And all we, all we are trying to do with these bills is to defend life. And um, we, we definitely want these in vitro doctors to continue. This is not, this is, they are scaremongering and nothing is intended to harm their practice in any way. There is no one who's gonna prosecute them if they drop a Petri dish and to say so is totally absurd. But will your laws, these life bills, essentially cost the taxpayers of North Dakota lots of money, yes or no? Well, you know, there are lots of organizations that have lined up and said that they will defend the state in these life bills. There's the, the Liberty Council, Thomas More Law Society. Many organizations are standing ready to join with our attorney general, and they have sent us emails saying they will bear the entire cost to defend these bills. Dr. Kane, I want to give you a chance to comment. So you admit that outside interests are coming in and promoting these bills to the point where they'll even pay for your litigation costs? N no, not at all. We have not had Liberty Council or Thomas More Law Society in the state at all. And so they are not pr pushing these bills, but they have let us know that they will help to but defend Margaret, these wait, wait a second. There are Senator, lots of pro-life organizations. Senator City, you just said yes. that you said you've got outside in, in, interests that will pay to help pay for these legal costs. Dr. Kane just asked you that question directly and you just said no. That she asked if they were coming in and lobbying for the on behalf of these bills in the beginning. They have had no part in the writing of these bills. They have had no part in the in the promotion of these bills. They have not been lobbying on them. But they have sent a letter that if these bills pass, they will help the state defend them. Dr. Kane, That's did I misinterpret what you asked her? From lobbying. Nope. You interpret what I asked her exactly correctly. So let's go back to this. Are they willing to pay for the litigation for North Dakota taxpayers outside interests, yes or no? Yes. Okay, thank you. So Here's my last question. This is going to hit on Governor Dalrymple's desk for a student. I need a quick answer from both of you. Does Governor Dalrymple veto these bills, yes or no? I hope Absolutely he will. Absolutely not. 